What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Awakened Toast, here. And today, welcome to a new game that I found known as Tempest. I was taking a look at, like, the Steam shop just to see, like, any other games that have possibly released in this time. And somehow, I just stumbled upon this. And if you guys take a look, the, the grass definitely has an odd look to it. But in the same way, it looks really good on the VR headset. Like, if this was actually just, like, wind blowing it or something, I think we're in for a treat. So without further ado, I'm gonna go and start the new game. I honestly don't even know, like, what this game is about. I more or less just found it because I was looking for stuff that was just aesthetically pleasing. So, it looks like we got a television emitting some light here. Can we grab it or something? I'm honestly not even sure, like, what kind of game this- Ooh. What the frick? Oh, this better not be a horror game. That scared the living crap out of me, dude. <gasps> what the frick? Oh, don't tell me this is a horror game. Yo, bro. Okay. I I was not expecting this to be a horror game. Please tell me that's not what it is. Please tell me that's not what it is. I'm walking up to you. Oh, uh, what? What is this? Boink, boink. Uh. No, I can't break that. I can grab this little thing. Okay. What does this say? Green to red is good. Red to green is bad. Red to red is bad. So drop it in here. So green to red is good. And then what, do I grab this thing maybe? Do I actually need you? So this is supposedly bad. I'm not supposed to mess with this. So I'm getting the vibe that this is like a puzzle game. Am I correct? I honestly more or less just wanted to... Oh. What? That is a really cool portal effect. What? Oh. Dude, the quality is gorgeous. Even like all the birds flying in the sky, the grass that's kind of like flying past you, like just those subtle details, man. Wow. Even the light, like, it emits off of your hands. Like, you can actually get, like, god rays through your hands and stuff. Dude. Can I go in the water? Please tell me I can swim. Aw, oh, this is as far as I can go. I'm assuming the experience is this must be, like, some sort of teleporter. So we basically have to go and uh, find pieces to bring back and re-teleport to, like, different timelines and all that stuff. I'm liking this a lot. Like, even look at that, bro. There needs to be more VR games that do this. Like, can you imagine an MMO to, like, this caliber? Having, like, this aesthetic while you're playing? Wow, man. This just gets me excited for, like, where VR's gone and what it's become. Honestly, it doesn't even have to be that crazy of a game, but more or less just, like, something to experience. You know what I mean? Like, this is pretty freaking surreal with how good it looks. Like, obviously enough, it's not going for the highest quality, but overall, though, it does look, like, really pleasing to the eye. Like, the best game I can probably relate this to is, uh, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. If you guys have ever played that game, you would definitely agree with me on this. Otherwise, if you guys haven't tried it yet, I definitely recommend adding that to your wish list, or even possibly trying it out yourselves. I really hope that this recording, like, does the justice of what this VR game deserves. Like, this is incredible. And I think, oh, is this the spot I had to go to? I was literally looking at these rocks for so long, I didn't even realize there was like an actual path through this. Wow. <laughs> like, even this shot. Oh. That is a really cool way to introduce a game. Wow. I didn't even want to talk during it, dude. Like, I heard that music kick in, and I was like, I am taking this in fully. I am not going to say a single word during that moment, bro. Wow. 
I could seriously like pop on my little window on my hand and watch like some anime while I just sit here. Like this just feels like one of those worlds like you wouldn't even have to like play the game. You could just be here and have this as like the aesthetic background. <laughs> wow. Oh, it makes me so happy to see like where VR is gone. This is incredible. Like I I'm almost crying, guys. This is this is phenomenal. Wow. Like, I, I wish there was words to explain the experiences when you see something of this caliber. Like, this is... Wow, just look at this shot! Oh. You know, I, I feel like a lot of people will, like, I don't know, they'll bash on the idea of this game, like, being good. But, like, in reality, though, there, there's very little games that can compete with this type of graphic fidelity. Like... Yes, the textures aren't polished like Half-Life Alex, but in its own way, it's so good. Like, I don't know how to, I don't even know how to put it. It's just, I, I want to go around, I want to go on an adventure, I want to go search that building eventually. Like, there's just so many places I want to go and check out. It's so cool. And speaking of that, I want to see if I can run up this hill. I just figured out that I can run. <laughs> this entire time I've been walking and taking it in. But I do want to run up this hill and just see if there's anything I can check up here. Because I'm assuming we have to go and look for some of those shards, huh? Like those little time shard things. So it spawns us in like a different um, timeline. And we just get to go and adventure. I think that's literally what this game is about. It's literally just like your own adventuring around these lands. You know what? We're actually going to go and visit these buildings now. We might as well. I, my, my interest has been piqued. So I, I got to check this out. Like, seriously, I, I've seen stuff like this in, like, a few VR chat worlds. Like, that's about the best way that I can explain it is, like, there's games, or not games, but more or less maps that are kind of to this, like, aesthetic, but I don't think they've ever owned it up this well. And the game right now is going for about $8 on, uh, on Steam. So, literally, if you guys just want a game to try out, like, if you have a Valve Index, Oculus Rift... Well, actually, now that I think of it, I don't even know if you can play this on the Index. I'm pretty sure it only said Oculus Rift support, so it might only be available on the uh, on the Rift S. So be warned about that. If you guys are going to try it to download it, you're probably going to have to have Revive in order to try this game out. And we got this guy here again. What the heck? Hello? Can I check in? Do you mind if I check in? Dude, why is that so, like, creepy, man? Ugh! So spooky. Oh, there's another one up here. What? Hello? No! I broke your drink. I'm so sorry. I was, I was trying to pick it up. You want a donut? Here. Let, let me... Let me give you a donut. Do you want this? Eat. Eat! Eat! Oh, this guy definitely looks like he wants a donut. You want a donut, brother? Would you like a donut? Hello? Are you hungry? Eat this donut. Oh, this one's a chick! She's got a ponytail! Oh, sweet. You know what? I bet she's more of a wine gal. All right, one second. Let me, let me grab this thing. Oh, there's no wine. You know what? I'm going to take this donut and I'm leaving. Later, Brenda. I think I'm going to leave this area, though. I, I don't know if there's anything else that we need in this, uh, in this spot, particularly. So I'm going to go and press this little button, which actually, wait a second. Is that an elevator? What? Or is this a teleport zone? Don't tell me this is teleporting. I don't want to leave yet. There's so much stuff to check out. Oh! Oh! I wasn't supposed to do that. Can I call it back down? That's an elevator. Come back down to me. I think I was supposed to probably stay in there, huh? Red? Why is it red? Oh, okay. So I need to go in here and then press the up button. I literally can't see a single thing. It's pitch black. I don't know if I'm supposed to be in here. I might have just broke the game. Oh. Where's my donut? No! Where did my donut go? It was pitch black and I dropped it. Oh, what? Oh, look at this. It's like a little, uh, those things at airports that you can, like, stand on. They, they take all your suitcase and your luggage and all that stuff. 
Oh, now that's that's a cool cinematic. You get to just kind of zip around while you're looking at all the aesthetics. Oh, that's fancy. That is fancy. There's another one of those shadow dudes. All right. Who? What are you doing? Dude, he actually kind of looks like me. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't move, bro. That actually scared the crap out of me, man. I don't know why, but there's just something so ominous about him that I, I don't know. It's definitely got a weird vibe, man. <laughs> it's got a very weird vibe. Like, it, it, it's weird because I haven't seen any content on this game. So, like, this is my first impressions of just, like, experiencing it. And I don't know if it's, like, a horror game. I don't know if it's a puzzle adventure. I don't know what they're going for. And I think that's what's kind of exciting. You know what I mean? We just got some office workers trying to do their job, man. I better leave them be, you know? Just let them do their thing. This must be, like, what, the luxury suite? Like, where the VIP stuff is? Yo, this guy's got a Razer gaming mouse. What? Oh. Wait, I clicked a button. Was I supposed to do that? Oh, I'm supposed to be looking for those things, huh? Oh, what if I re-click it? Hee -hee. So I must have just opened that, because I don't think that was there before. This looks like a bunch of gaming setups. Yo, it's like a gaming motel. That's legit. Allowing all the gamers to get some sunlight? Like, heck yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. So, it wants me to go here. Right? Is there a bunch of floors? Oh no, I can only go to that next floor. Now it's red, so I can't go through that again until I get uh, another... Oh, what? Okay, don't turn on me, bro. And even like that shady sound that happens when you walk by him? Ugh, that's spooky, bro. I, I don't like it. I'm gonna put this pot on your head. <laughs> nice! <laughs> That'll do for now. What's that pothead gonna do to me, am I right? Oh, this is a mess in here. What were they doing? What were they doing? The sound design is actually really good in this game. I was not expecting a $7 game on Steam to be this smooth. Like, not gonna lie. <gasps> oh, you would never expect a game that has hands that look like these to have this type of graphic fidelity. Wow. I just, I can't get over it, man. It just, it is jaw dropping when it comes down to stuff like this. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. But there is apparently a button or something I need to press because, is it this one? No. Oh, it's... Nope. Close. How does it go? Okay, let's see if he goes up. Okay. Close. What? What just happened? What? Dude, that's so awesome. Please don't jump scare me. You still got the pot in your head, so that means that hasn't changed. Aha! Goodbye. I had fun playing your piano. Oh, so that's the way that we could actually progress was having to play that piano to allow us to go, like, to allow us to get to this next floor. Ooh. Oh, crap. Okay. What? Oh, oh, I see. This is gonna be a lightning maze. Okay. So how do we solve this? 
That's safe. That one's probably good. I'm gonna guess. This one? Nope. Straight. Maybe right. Okay. So that's as far as we can go there. Oh, let's just follow that trail. We're doing good. So we need to go left, right? Continue this way as much as we can. I'm gonna go up. Nope. Dang, dude, we were doing good too. Okay, so let's continue straight this way. Then I'll go and take a right. How far can I go? How far can I go? Oh, rip. So I need to go this way. Go down, over, over, up. Oh my god. Oh, there's a freaking thing on that! Too bad I'm too blind to see it. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to like Rambo it because uh, my, my vision isn't good enough to see that. So I just gotta Rambo this thing, dude. This is a crazy weird game, but I'm actually like really liking it. So I think if I remember correctly, it was left and then forward, forward. This is literally just gonna be a trial and error puzzle for me, to be honest. That's literally what this is gonna be. Do I go left again or up? Ah, I should've went left again. I think I have to go left twice there. I need to go up, up, up. One more. Left, and then left. Up. Up again. Left. Oh. Oh my god. Then I'm guessing up, up. I'm gonna try left though. Oh, I knew it was probably a bad idea. Okay. But, dude, I was winging it there. I don't even remember what I was doing. Oh, God. Left, left, up, up, left again. Up. Up. I'm gonna guess right again. And then up. Nope. So we run here. Dip. Go this way. Two left, two up, two, or one left. Two up. One right. Two right. Three right. Four right, maybe? No. Nope. Got too greedy on that one. Oh, we're so close. Okay. No! I thought we had it. I thought for sure we had it that time. No. That's such a rip. I guarantee that wall literally shows the path, but my vision is so bad, I literally just can't see it. So down two, over three, up three, over one. So one, two, one, two, three. And then one, two, three, over one, up one, and then over four, two, and then up, and then straight ahead. Let's go, baby. Yes, sir. We've done it. Oh. Oh, it gives you like a little snapshot of where you have to go. Okay, I'm just going to go. Oh, I guess I can just walk across it. I don't even have to worry about getting zapped anymore. Sweet. Next floor, take me there. This is sweet, man. I'm liking this. What a strange game, but oddly addicting. <gasps> Yo, a photo shoot? What's going on, bro? I thought maybe there was uh, a little Easter egg or a little thing I had to do here, but I don't think so. There's like this weird blinking file or something. What is that, an iPad? Why is that blinking? Well, I'll go to the next room because I'm going to assume it's probably in here. Wait, there's another one. Why is there two of these? Are these monitors? Oh, that is a big freaking controller. Who even has a hand size that big? There's something back here. Another door. Ooh, a secret door. Okay. Let's see. Drop. Oh, we got to drop the pads in here. I knew it. I knew we had to use these. Hopefully, I can grab them off the ground. I can't grab them. They're too small. How would I get lower? No. But I can probably move it with this. There we go. The beauty of VR. If you can't reach some, improvise. <gasps> and there's toast. Oh my god. Does the toaster actually work? Please tell me. Please just work once in one of these games. All I want to do is just put toast in here. I was really hoping. I, I thought this would be the one game that would actually try to uh, actually add a workable toaster. You done failed me. All right, come here. There we go. Now we got two of these pads. Perfect. I think this is all that we need. We probably just have to put all three of them in there, right? Is that what? Is that what's happening here? We just gotta put three pads in here. One in the middle, one in the other, like this, and then one in the third. 
Sound like something. Sound like something popped out, right? No, that one's right. Oh, 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 oh. So then I just gotta do this. Hey, yeah. Why did that one glow? Oh, wait, now it's green. Oh, is that a button that I can press now? Oh, no, never mind. So what? Then I just gotta cleanse it? That was the only one that worked. And what? I got like a little surfboard or like an eye or something? Can I cleanse another one? Schlank. Oh! You just gotta do them in order. Okay. So I'm guessing I'm gonna get like an image after this. I just gotta cleanse each of these plates. Oh my god, that's so cool. So I got like a surfboard, a, some palm trees, and then what's the last one? Let's see. Give me some good. And then I probably have to align them in a certain order. Oh. Or not. I guess that's actually all that we had to do. I thought maybe we were gonna have to align these in like order or something. But yeah, so we got a surfboard. We got a coconut little drink. And we got some palm trees. Sweet. And now it's time for us to go to the next floor. I kind of wish I could have checked out like more of the uh, other zones, but. Oh. Interesting. Hello, my friend. Do you mind if I check the book? Okay, I gotta do the basketball. So, goal is 250. Oh my gosh. Dude, the ball is so heavy! I have to make it that many times. Aha! I found the real method! Look at me go now! Oh! Is that all I had to do? No way. You're joking. <laughs> all right, it's time for me to leave. Time to go to the last floor. All right, what do we got here? Looks like we're back to ground level. So that's uh, that's some improvement. Please don't move, please don't move, please don't move, please don't move. Thank you. Bless your soul, I appreciate it. I just don't want to be scared crapless because that, that first one really got me, dude. I was not expecting that. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna walk in on someone taking a poop. Don't know how I feel about that. Hello? Is anyone in there? God, why is this so ominous? And why does it make me so uncomfortable? I don't like this. They got these giant urinals. <gasps> and they got cake! Let's go! Let me pull the toilet paper. Or, you know what? It's, it's probably motion sense, right? Just one of those, like, motion sensor toilet paper machines that just never work. Actually, I don't even know if that's a thing for toilet paper. I know they're for, like, paper towels, but... <laughs> For toilet paper, uh, I'm kind of unsure about that. Okay, can I grab this so I can defend myself, please? Why is that door opening? Please stop. I don't like it. <gasps> Yo, this guy's gonna jump on me. He's taking a leak, bro. Hey, buddy. Who is he? Wait, what has he got? Is he? Is he fucking that dude? Yo, I think they're having. <laughs> Yo! Wait a minute, yo! I'll, I'll leave you be. No way! I just walked in on that. You're joking. I'm pretty sure this guy's having sex in the stalls. <laughs> that's amazing, bro. Oh, that's so funny. I was not expecting that. <laughs> that got me. That that actually got me. I was like, what's he doing, killing him? And then I look, and he's holding their leg. Oh my god, dude. That's so funny. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Why did that scare me so bad? I didn't even... Oh. Wait, what? Are you joking? All I had to do was just press the button to leave? Okay, bye. See you again. Never. Oh, wait. That means I probably can't go from the other side. Or maybe it will work. Do I have that unlocked now? <gasps> I do. Yes. I can always go back to those stalls whenever I want. Now I'm a happy man. I can die a happy lad. And I also didn't realize how freaking much I missed seeing the scenery. Because I was in there for like a pretty good amount of time going through all those riddles. But now we're back to the beautiful scenery of whatever this place is. I don't even know what the place was called. I'm pretty sure I just saw like the year, but that was about it. Well, I guess it's time for us to go and check out some more of the game here. There was a quite a big area that I still haven't even got to yet. So I think that's where we're gonna be going next. Actually, I don't even know if we went from this way, did we? We went from the other side of the rock, so there might actually be some more stuff that we can find here. Because, oh, dude, I completely brain farted. 
We need to find those, like, the shard and the battery. I wasn't even looking for those things yet. I was too busy just solving those other puzzles in that area that I didn't even look for uh, any of those uh, teleporting things or whatever. Shoot, dude. I probably had to go for that, huh? There was probably something I missed in that place. Unless there's one here. Time to go up. There's got to be some in this building, right? There's got to be at least something. Yo, I just turned on my freaking ceiling fan. It was almost like surreal. Feeling that breeze come from there with the wind blowing in the game. That's really weird. It like totally threw me off. <gasps> What's this? Some VR glasses? Oh, what? Oh, I can see footprints. Oh, no, this is spooky. Now I feel like I'm probably somewhere where I shouldn't be. <gasps> but that looks like a shard. Oh, that totally is one. But what are those other dots for? That is totally a shard, though. Absolutely. That's exactly what it wanted me to see. Wait, is that a... Is that a piece over there, too? One second. Let me go and check quick. Is that another piece that we need? Okay, I got the green light on. And then I'm also going to go and grab the little shard piece, because I know we need it. Oh, wait, that's not a shard. That's just a handprint. Okay, so we just need to go to the trail and press the stuff that they also pressed. For some reason, I thought that was a shard just because I saw the green light. I instantly associated green with time shard. But uh, I don't think that's what it was. I think it was just a little pressy press thing. But now, if we touch this painting... Oh, that's so cool, dude. You got the post that we clicked, the fountain we clicked, and then whatever that chick is. Please tell me you're not going to come and jump scare me. I would not be a happy camper. I'm not a fan of jump scares. That's literally just a chair. Oh, my God. What would you have to pay to get this type of freaking scenery? Look at this place. And they got donuts. <gasps> and they're chocolate freaking frosting on it. Let's go. Stupid TV. Ugh. You're telling me they have this good of a place, but they don't even have, like, cable channels? Like, come on, man. It's time to step up your game. Oh, can I touch? Oh, I bet this I have to click. All right. Well, we did that right. Whatever that puzzle was. There's plates, and I must destroy them! Heck yeah. So there's another one here. So we just gotta stop this once it goes green. Wait for it. Boom. There's gotta be three of them, right? I would have to assume there's three. Something's telling me there's been a common, uh, a common trend of three of these things. Unless there's actually more of them. Oh, nope. Looks like this door just opened. Cool, cool, cool. So it's like an open adventure game that you're just exploring through. I feel like I probably shouldn't be here. This doesn't feel right. My, uh, my intuition is tingling right now, man. I don't like the feeling. I don't like it. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Dude, just get some freaking cable up in this place. There's nothing scarier than seeing the Ant channel on TV 24-7. Like, gosh, bro, I, I used to be that kid that had to have an actual TV show on when I went to bed. Otherwise, I could not sleep. My brain was always constantly running, man. I needed something going. Okay. I bet I have to go to a painting or something, huh? Oh! I have to spray until I see you. So I use this to see my path. That's actually really cool. So I just keep going until here. So I need to go back. How far do I have to go? Okay, go over here. Dude, what an interesting way to do a maze. What the? What the heck? They are so creative with this game. And this is literally seven bucks. Like, what? You have to be kidding me. Well, I probably don't need you anymore. Because it seems like a lot of puzzles have a trend where you only use it once. So I'm going to throw you over there. Hey, buddy. Wake up. Oh, that was a horrible throw. I'm so sorry. I just made a mess. I just made a huge mess. Wait, what? What is this? You mind tell me what this painting is, buddy? What's going on here? Let me grab this. I want to paint. He's going to get so angry. You're going to get so angry when I paint over your freaking painting here, buddy? Oh, so I got to go into the dark room. Perfect. Just what I wanted to hear. Wow, 
why is it so dark in here? Is there a f can I grab this lantern? Please tell me I can grab this. Yes! Bless your soul. I just wanted something. Like, literally anything. Ugh, why do you have to do this to me, bro? You live in this expensive a house and you don't have power in this part? Like, come on, man. You gotta be joking me. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this, bro. I don't like this one bit. I, to I told you, dude. I told you my intuition was tingling, bro. And you know what? If there's sets of stairs to go up or down, you always go up. Because then you can avoid the conflict. Except I'm probably going to need to go back down there. Because there's a, probably a certain thing that I have to find. In the basement. Because why wouldn't there be? Yoink. Like, zoink, scoob. Looks like we got to go. Oh, don't tell me there's like a bunch of them down here. No, I don't like this one bit. Why do you make me do this? And I can only see this far. Oh, why is this creeping me out? The game's not even that creepy. It's more of a puzzle thing. But I'm still creeped out. We got plus. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I bet we have to do an order of each of the floors. So we got a plus sign. Then if we go up to this next one. Let's see. So we got plus sign. We got four dots. Plus sign, four dots. Circle, and then three dashes. Plus sign, four. And then circle, three lines. There we go. Perfect. And now we get this view. No need for a lantern. Am I right, boys? Let's go and press the button. Ding! Oh. I was gonna say, I was like, isn't that it? Oh, what? Oh, that was just one of those things. What? Oh, so I have that much more to do? Oh, God. Okay. Well, uh, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's gonna be where we call this first video. If you guys want to see another video of me covering this game to finish off the next two things here, be sure to let me know by dropping a comment down in the comment section below. But yeah, other than that, guys, that's going to be it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, keep it toasting, my friends. Laters!